Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. Uh, my name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Oh, that's some hemp seed oil, but yeah, jewelry. Okay, so today we're going to pick a drawer and I'm just going to grab a drawer, take you into my art room. Excuse while it gets dark through the hallway. Here we go. My resin table. This is a little project I'm working on. Clip on earrings. Cute. All right, back to this. And we'll do a flip a roo. I'm in my pajamas still. <laughs> um, the light is coming through my window here, but I think I'm going to turn on my overhead light so it's a little brighter that might be better hopefully oh my foot itches oh my gosh okay so in this box today kids we have what do we got in here I don't know a bunch of lovelies I think this is one that I pulled out of a jar on either my first or second video if you guys haven't seen it go back and check it out because i believe this one was like super filthy dirty and i cleaned it real quick and anyways it's lovely it is not a signed piece but it's beautiful and this one is also not signed enamel black and white and then it's got the great little black stones in there that are prong set really pretty and we've got this lovely now this one is signed and here's my loop this one is art and it's got the the Aurora Borealis stones or the AB stones. So pretty. And then this lovely, oh my goodness, not signed. Look at that. Again, with these are the AB stones, but in a blue. So beautiful. Vintage jewelry, just. Uh, I don't know, something about the way everything was made back in the day. <laughs> like my house, uh, built in 1929. You know, it's uh, built real sturdy. They just don't make things like they used to. All the neat little nooks and crannies. Aw, this one is actually missing the, um, missing the clasp here. So I, I didn't realize that. Who cares? <laughs> it's beautiful <laughs> I could probably um, actually one of the things is missing here it has two of these that come up and then there's a little um, just a little hoop that sits in between them and you could open it up pinch it in there and just put a pin I could fix that easy however there's only one so there's nothing to attach the other end to so this is going to be a crafting piece, I guess. So I don't know why it's in my drawer. I guess just because it's pretty. <laughs> so I'll put that with crafting. Um, this is a gold filled pen. I find these quite a bit. Really pretty with the pearl. Um, this lovely bracelet here. Ooh, is it signed? Uh, no, no, nothing. Very pretty. All the stones are there. It's a beauty. This one is very pretty. This one has um, also AB stones and little baguettes and 
It's got a point here at the end. Just a slight, a slight point there at the end. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. And then this lovely here. Um, not sure. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, this one's not signed. Very pretty though. Love it. And then this one. Just a twist. Gold twist. Not however you want to call that. And then there's this cute little strawberry. I want to say this is maybe a Sarah Coventry or something like that. I think I've seen them in red too, but I, I believe it's Sarah Coventry. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I like comments. Um, oh, this is really neat little thing that I found. Um, it's a watch fob. And... It is gold filled. Um, it's an early one, very early. I wouldn't want to put a date on it, but I'd say um, very early 1900s or, or late 1800s. Um, this is an ivory mustache comb. And it's all in gold filled. And it has the initial F there. F as in Frank. Cool. Neat little piece. Uh, and then we have a military issue knife. That's pretty special. I don't know if this is World War II or I don't know. I guess I'm gonna have to, I, it might be, um, I'll have to do a little more research to figure out which uh, era that's from. Oh, and this is just a Skagen watch. Uh, Skagen is a nice, nice brand. This is very thin, very well made. You can just feel a Skagen. They just, they just make really nice watches. And, um, it's, uh, you know, they've got a, a nice resale value. Pretty nice Skagen watch in there. What else we got? Oh, I didn't realize I had these watches in here. I, um, uh, that's a Seiko. I don't know. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. So it is what it is. Oh, and this is a lovely, um, I believe this was Avon or it was one of those perfume rings. Very pretty in excellent shape. Excellent shape. And then here we have this lovely ba bam is it not beautiful? It's got the fleur de lis, big purple stone, faceted, set in this lovely um, gold. Not not real gold. I I have actually found one like this that was real gold. So always make sure and check them. Even if they don't have a 14 karat gold mark, check it. Um, one, the one that I found had two initials in it, but that was just the maker's mark. He had his initials set in there, but there was no mark at all, but it definitely tested precious metal, 14 karat, but this is not. Just a nice, older, vintage, big, chunky monkey of a ring. Don't want to mess with me wearing that. Or anyone. What do we have here? Oh, this is really pretty. This is a very early piece too. Um, not sure. It's reminding me of like 20s or 30s perhaps. Just 
beautifully done. I'm not sure if I've tested this for silver. Kind of looks like it, but I'm not sure. I'll, I, maybe I didn't test it because I don't want to mess it up. It's a nice piece, and then it's got a little barrel clasp there. Very pretty glass. These are all pin set in there, and that lovely cage on that one. What else? I know it's in here because these are, they're special and they're very fragile. Um, they don't look like a whole bunch from here. It's just a ugly cord, which is the original cord. And this, um, uh, what material is that? It's like a pottery, um, I don't know if it's a clay, a porcelain, or I don't know that it's porcelain. It's something, but anyhow, this is a Miriam Haskell, and that's hand-signed Miriam Haskell. I know that's coming across backwards, I think, on screen, but um, yeah, Miriam Haskell. How about that? She did a series of these flowers, and I was at an estate sale one day, and there was one of my competitors was there, um, a guy that I really don't like to see around because he'll just say, I'm taking it all. It's like, I can't have anything. You know, there's a, nothing I can buy in the jewelry section when he's around, and it just, it irks me to no end. So I rarely go to estate sales anymore because I do not like that feeling. Um, but anyhow, he skipped right by this. There was a couple of bags there. One bag was $5, and it had both of these in it. Um, and it just looked like some, you know, crafting stuff. But again, this is hand-signed, Miriam Haskell. That came from Miriam Haskell's hand. So, these are pretty special. I have looked these up before. Um, a couple of years ago when I first acquired them and they were selling for around a hundred dollars each and I got two for five bucks um, this is Juicy Couture it's really nice really nicely done in excellent condition Juicy Couture bracelet and then we got this cool ring. It's um, it's just like a, a resin or a plastic or whatever, but it's just big and chunky and I love the colors. I don't know if it's a newer one, but it, it kind of looks vintage. It's, it's got that whole 70s vibe kind of thing going on to me. Um, but it probably is maybe a newer piece, I'm not sure, but it's really cool and I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And then this is a beautiful, I got this a few years ago. Um, pretty sure the material is a bone of some sort. And then it's just got all these little hand painted panels on there. They kind of look at Siberian or, you know, like an older, Siberian look to it or something like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. But really cool. I love I love the uh, the fact that it's hand done. I appreciate art, you know, and to me jewelry is each piece of jewelry is just a small piece of art, you know, that someone has created. And I just think it's incredible. I think it's amazing, and I love it. And this is sterling silver with copper and brass and malachite inlaid little chips. Pretty neat. And it's a pendant and a brooch. There's no rhyme or reason to why anything is in here the way it is because I don't even know. <laughs> I just kind of, if 
if I need a spot to put something special, I just fill up the drawer until I process um, the drawer and get everything individually bagged like so. Um, it just kind of compiles in here until I can't put any more in there. These are Van Dome sterling silver and rhinestones. Really cute. This looks like a Kate Spade. It is a little Kate Spade ring. This is just a little hair thing that, well, I'm not sure what type of material that is. It sounds like some sort of a stone. This looks like maybe porcupine quill. But it's a it's a hair piece and again handmade. I, I appreciate handmade anything jewelry. This is um who is this? This is I better use my loop because I my eyes are bad. Um, it's Olipop USA, Olipop USA. It's a newer piece, um, but it's very pretty. It looks like it's got that, you know, very vintage look like that. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, tickle in my throat. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's got that hand hammered look, and then it's got the um, antiqued gold look with you know, what's made to look like carved jade on the ends and then a carved coral piece with the pearls. Really beautiful. Um, it's none of the above. This is just plastic. You know, these aren't, uh, oh, that almost feels like real glass, but yeah, that's, that's definitely not, but beautiful nonetheless. We got this cute little parrot. She signed and now but he's just lovely, beautiful. I'm gonna have to put everything back in the bags and put it all away. That's just a, that's just a little flower brooch. No big deal on that one. However, no big deal on that one. Big deal on this one. Very big deal on this one, actually. Um, this is a swallow, I believe, and it is enameled work with marcasite set in sterling silver. It's very finely done. Um, there is some markings in there. I have looked this piece up before, um, and these can retail um, three to four hundred dollars for one little tiny beautiful enamel sterling silver marcasite early I want to say this is uh, it's very tarnished and I'm not going to clean it um, and I'd really have to loop it and get that maker's mark in there again and, and do the research again but I, I want to say it's like um, oh like made in Norway or something like that. But anyways, this is just a stunning, beautiful piece of jewelry that, and this is, this is why I'm addicted to jewelry because this little tiny thing that just can go in my pocket has such a great value um, behind it. And, you know, this, this is my, uh, this is my retirement fund here. One day I will you know, I will start selling it off at a little by little and I doubt if I'll do it all at once, but <laughs> if I got the right offer, um, cute little owl. I always find these little mice with the glasses. I've, I've found maybe five of them. Uh, I want to say it might be an Avon piece. Um, oh no, that says Mateo or something like that. Oh, uh, Coventry. I'm sorry. That's Sarah Coventry. Not Avon. Cute little owl. And I, I do have an owl project coming up. This is actually, um, sadly, this is old, old ivory and 14 karat gold little wire. Um, uh, it's nothing that I would wear. You can't sell it. 
but I'll certainly keep it from, you know, I'll preserve that. That's, uh, it's something special. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just saw something at the bottom of this, just sitting there, just chilling. Doesn't, not in a bag, nothing, just, uh, and there's no rhyme or reason to why that's in there, but it shouldn't be in there because I usually keep my more precious jewelry in a different box. But this is a nice wooden, um, nice wooden bracelet. No big deal. This is beautiful. This is also uh, no reason why it's in here because this is also sterling silver. This is a very old piece right here. Um, this is some sort of, I'm not sure. Let me just look and see if that's, Um, definitely looks like glass to me. So it's got, well, I mean, it could be a stone, but it's just a really early piece. It's I'm not sure what the writing is on there. It's cool though. It's pretty, pretty neat. And it's sterling. Um, this looks like a Brighton bracelet. It is Brighton. It's got the tag right there and no price but that's just thrown in there got this sword um and it's got like a celtic thing going on here with a little carnelian and then this bracelet is no big deal well i don't know why is it in here i don't know um those are glass i don't know it's cute this is, looks like a, possibly made out of ivory as well. Just a little dangly thing. And bottom of the barrel, what do we have here? <laughs> we have an Elsa Peretti Tiffany & Co. Um, knot, love knot, I believe it is. Um, I don't know why it's in here. Um, and it's got a knot in the chain, so I'm going to have to fix that, but yeah, that's, um, I can spot this tag a mile away, but that's Elsa Peretti, Tiffany and Co. This little, this little cartouche here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's what that is. So yeah, why was that down there? But great, great little find. I'm glad I went through this. Anyhow, that was my, uh, what's in the drawer edition today. Um, I'll probably do many more of these because I have lots of drawers and boxes to go through and show you guys. So hope you all have a wonderful day. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you would, if you'd like to see um, anything in particular that you guys like. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. I am, once I reach 100 subscribers, I am giving away a nice pair of 14 karat gold earrings that I found in my very second video um, in a jewelry jar. So, uh, maybe it'll be one of you. So please, uh, again, give me thumbs up, subscribe, tell a friend, have a wonderful afternoon, and we'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.